All right, so uh, year eight, we just had a bit of a uh, Zoom meeting for those of you who are there. Guys, you've got to get better at coming into Zoom meetings, you really do. Um, I might just get a little bit more light on here. Will that make a difference? No, it just makes everything yellow. It's kind of cool. Got another light. Hang on. Well, makes everything a bit yellow, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we talked about drawing a chair with an object on it. So here's my hand and pencil. I'm pointing, I'm pointing to this chair here with the banjo on it. Cause I said, I'll, okay, I'll draw a chair with a banjo on it. So um, uh, we said, uh, I want you to draw a chair with an object on it. Because when we look at Van, Van Gogh's bedroom at Arles and other Van Gogh pictures, and Van Gogh famously painted a picture of his chair and he put on it his uh, pipe and tobacco and his um, oh, like a, a, a a bit of letter writing or something. He put something. He's got his own objects on it. So this is because we're going to go to cubism. We're going to get into cubism. We're going to break the chair up. And we're going to make a cubist sculpture of a chair. Um, it's a bit boring if it's just a chair. So I think what we'll do is we'll put an object on it. My clock's about to go off and it's going to dong eleven times. There it is. Just up. Oh, this way. <laughs> there. So we'll just let my clock ding. And um, anyway, uh, so let's get into it. So I want to do a chair that's a bit interesting. So to make an interesting chair, you put an object on it, right? So the things I've got to look at is um, this sort of structure here, which is basically two flat planes, right? So I've got a, a flat plane going that way, and then I've got the back of the chain chair going that way. I'm not gonna worry about the banjo yet, but um, you know, with, I'll put the legs and things in too. And I'm going to say that the middle is this corner here. So watch this. I'm just going to draw it. I might zoom in on what I'm drawing for a minute. And um, I'll come back out just a touch. But um, if I, if I, uh, oh, and I've got, you know, you know the way I like to sharpen a pencil. So uh, I've got the, the seat of the chair and I've got the back of the chair, and then I've got one, two, three. Now watch how I do this back leg. This back leg's gotta be in line with that leg, right? So I imagine it here, and I, I sort of get my pencil and I go, and then I contact, and I'm looking at that line there. And it's not quite, you could even put yourself in a little light line, and it's not quite there. Now there it is there, okay? And so if we go back, I've got the beginnings of it right now. I've got to put these. I've got to put these uh, curved lines in, and I'll get that. So watch what I do now. Uh, you know what? I might even put the beloved banjo in at this. Well, no, I can't because I've got to. I've got to have this leaning bit first. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deal with these curved lines. Now watch this one. This one's tricky. This this curved line here. Where is it? There. Think of it like a triangle. So I'm just going to come down, sort of down like that. Now, see how I've got these lines here? Don't worry about them. Just leave them. Okay? Just leave them. Now, every one of these legs is actually, uh, if I flip the page over, and I might just zoom in, the way we draw these legs, I've got it here, these legs actually have a side and a back like that. And if I zoom in down on this leg, you'll notice, yeah, that it's lighter on the side and that's because the light's hitting, hitting the side. Okay, I'm really confusing my camera um, with my pencil and it's darker on the front. So, and then there's the shadows. Don't worry about the shadows yet though. So if I come back here, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to shade in on the front of that, on the front of that leg. And I might even hold my pencil like this. And then I'll lightly shade the side. Okay, so let's go back to this, my drawing. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of detail. So 
basically everything on the front of the chair goes that way <clears throat> so let's put those in first they're my legs on the front these ones also have a front like that uh, actually that's got to go that way whoops and then I've made a mistake and that's okay you just leave see I left my mistake there and I go oh, well I'll just keep sketching around it and make it work it's perfectly okay and probably a really good thing to leave your mistakes in and, the, and but the more you draw over it the more you'll um the more they disappear <clears throat> oh, a bit of a throat this morning no it's not the covid uh okay so now i'm just sort of shading things in and it's starting to look a bit like our chair okay uh i'll just put this front one in here And it's all about stopping and looking. Like I might stop and look and notice where the darks and the lights are. Notice this little dark patch just there. So on my drawing, I'll bring that in. It's just there. Now my drawing is not going to look exactly like the chair. And it's got elephantitis at the back leg too. It's got, it's got a bit big at the back. But anyway, there's the beginning of my chair. Okay, time to um, hand tackle the big thing, and that's the banjo. Okay, so that's going to kind of sit here. And it actually, you'll notice it actually takes up a fair bit of room. There's actually not much room over here. So make that quite decent size. And you notice how I've got this um, issue here. I've got this issue here. But if you look at it, there's a strap covering it anyway. So it's not a problem. So I still haven't got my rubber out yet. And then kind of there it is. It's starting to come together. It'd be good if I might zoom in on my drawing a little bit more so you can just sort of see what I do. Like this banjo has a side, yeah, that we can see. Whoa, where's my pencil? Yeah, you can see this side of the banjo, but you can't see the other side. All right, so it's like a low cylinder. Imagine a squashed Coca Cola can. Some people think banjos sound like squashed Coca Cola cans. I don't. I think they're pretty cool. Anyway, and I'm going to put my strap in, and that covers that sort of whole area of the area of the uh, dark area, like that was getting in the way of my banjo picture. <clears throat> Can you guys see my drawing? I might just angle it up a touch. Okay, this is where we put in little details. The little details are important. Now, the more interesting the object on the chair, I know not everyone owns a banjo, but the more interesting the object on the chair, uh, the more fun that's going to be when we go to make a cubist sculpture. Because when we do cubism, we break it, we break it up. We're going to do a cardboard sculpture. This is a cardboard sculpture of, um, whoop. This is a cubist sculpture of a camera. You can see how it's all like different angles and stuff. We're going to do one of these, but we're going to do it of our chair. So the more interesting the object that you have on your chair in the first place um, the more fun it is now my chairs at a bit of a I've drawn my chair accidentally or well, maybe not accidentally I mean that's just the sort of thing about being an artist is that uh, things take on a little life of their own I've drawn it slightly at a different angle than uh, the chair actually is so I've exposed more of this area here if you look at the picture if you look at it over there but now it's time to sort of put in these little wrinkles and sort of take notice of what those little wrinkles are doing because they're really important it's all those little things it's all the little details that makes the chair that makes your drawing look a lot more convincing 
Notice I'm not bothered by the leg just here because I'm about to shade over it anyway. But it's all those little details that make the drawing more convincing. Okay. Hey, if anyone does have a banjo in their house, I'm keen to see it. <laughs> I've been told I'm not allowed to play the banjo at home because apparently no one likes the noise of it. Isn't that a bit mean? And then here's my strings. All right, not half bad. Not bad at all. Now, little things that people forget to notice, right? You'll notice that the headstock of the banjo is black. And yet in my drawing, I've left it white. So that's something I need to fix up. It's those little things that like, people always forget to do the colors of the eyes. All right, so the thing with um, cubism which we're heading towards, and you're gonna go, what's cubism? Well, you're about to do some theory work on cubism, but the thing with cubism is that you're going to start with realism. So start with a nice little drawing, like a really nice little satisfying drawing, the best you can do. Oh, but yeah, now we talked about, um, we talked about shadows, because at the moment it looks like a floating chair, doesn't it? So we need the shadows in there. I'm leaning on my little finger. Oh, no, you're not seeing the shadows going in. I was putting the shadows, sorry, that was my fault. I'm leaning on my little finger like that when I draw the shadows. Sorry guys, I, I should have um, checked my camera. I got excited drawing. You don't want to see someone. There's nothing worse than watching one of these YouTube videos and, and it's, um. You know, they forget where the camera is. Okay, there's my shadows. And, oh man, a little thing you can do, with a rubber. I did have a rubber somewhere. It's not cool. Okay, a little thing you can do is knock it out, knock out your, um, <clears throat> knock out your drawing. Knock it, like knock, knock the shadow back. So, so the shadows a bit. Now this is a piece of blue tack, and what you can do is you can just sort of tack on there. See, I'm not, I'm not rubbing like that. I'm just sort of tapping and just softening off that shadow. <clears throat> hey, check it out. I'm pretty happy with that. There's my, there's my picture. You know, bump that in a little frame, that'd look all right. Nice. All right, off you go. Do your best. See ya.